Fully dressed without a smile or a bow tie? We spent some time with a special group of people today who are focused on helping young men in Cleveland grow up confident. Our Tara Molina has the story tied up in a bow for us. Flashy accessories laid out, Bridget Smith explained all of this is about so much more than a tie. They want to help Cleveland's young men. Look, Miss Bridget, look at my tie. I'm a gentleman. When I wear a tie, I'm a gentleman. Grow up confident, excellent, and strong. Smith is a social services director of Rainbow Terrace Learning Center. And we all know what the statistics are in Cleveland, especially this community, with young black boys. I, I want to give each boy at least five ties. I was hoping to get more boys, bow ties, but we didn't get many, um, and teach them how to tie the tie and incorporate that as part of their dress code. Cleveland police took her idea and ran with it, helping with a tie drive for donations. If one tie makes a difference and changes one life, then I'm, I'm, I'm happy to do it. I think the tie concept is a good idea for the young man. The pink, blue, purple, and black mean something more. The tie isn't just a material to them. When they spoke, it, it represented something to them, and it was something positive. And so I'm hoping that this will promote excellence among the young boys. What may seem small is brightening the lives of many and changing the way some young men see themselves and what their future can hold. Look good, feel good, do good. Even if we're not around to give them those words of encouragement, that tie will do just that. What may seem small is brightening the lives of many and changing the way some young men see themselves and what their future can hold. Look good, feel good, do good.